Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you free software that will help you copy music from CDs and convert them to MP3s. Now, the reason you'd want to do this is that you may have an MP3 player in your phone, or you may have a standalone MP3 player, or you may want to create an MP3 music CD that you can put in your car. Now, the reason you'd want to do that is you can get about 10 regular music CDs onto an MP3 music CD. So if you're going on a long trip, and you want to listen to a set number of albums or CDs, you can convert them all to one disc and not have to be changing discs all the time. Now before we get started, you'll need to know that you have to own the CD that you're going to convert, and you're only going to be using the conversion for your personal use only. You're not going to be copying or selling because that would be illegal. Now we're going to be doing this with using free software, and before I show you where to get the free software, I'm going to show you how it works. Now notice that the software is called Burning Studio Free, and it repeats the name up here as free. It really is free. There's no strings attached. The only thing is that each time you start it, there'll be an ad for a different product. But you can ignore the ad and go ahead and use the software. Now, if we want to take music from the CDs, convert it to MP3, and that's called ripping, what we do is we go to the menu here, and we choose Rip Audio CD. And it says, please insert an audio CD. And I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I've put a CD in, and it's recognized it, and it tells me right here, please click on next to proceed. That's pretty easy. We'll do that. Click next. At this point it's actually going on the internet and looking up that CD so it has the name of the CD and the name of all the songs on the CD. You want this because when it converts to MP3 that's information that can be displayed on an MP3 player or even on a MP3 CD. And then here in the right hand corner it said file name options. You can either choose track number, album name, or artist name. And then this is really important where it says subfolder options. I generally arrange the music on my MP3 CDs by album, so that may be something you want to do. And then click Next. It tells you the name of the album, and then you choose the output folder. And in my case, I'm putting the output folder in my music folder on my computer. You can change that by going this. And it tells you the output format is going to be MP3, and you can change the options. And I generally set mine read speed to be auto, bit rate to be 192, sample rate to be 44, 100, and then click OK. And the next step, this is the final step of the process, is you click RIP. And what it's doing is converting all the audio files on that CD into MP3 format. Now it'll take anywhere from one to five minutes to do this, depending on how many audio files are on that CD. So the conversion process is done. It took about four minutes. You can see here it says ripping completely successful. And you can open the output folder. It'll show you the files that it's ripped. We click that. And here it is. This music CD that I ripped is called Mad Men Across the Water, and it has all the songs. It's on my computer in the music folder. And what I can do now is I can copy this folder over onto my portable MP3 player, or I can burn it to a CD. Now, as you saw, that was really easy. All you really had to do was click Next and then Rip, and it did it for you. Now, the software that we're using is called A Shampoo Burning Studio Free. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to take the ripped music and burn it to a music CD. But right now, I'm going to show you where to get the free software. Now, if you search Google for A Shampoo Burning Studio, you'll see links to the A Shampoo Burning Studio Free. And when you get there, you'll see what this looks like. It tells you all about the programs. And it is totally free. Now, to download it, you click the download link. And that'll take you to download.com, which is owned by CNET. Now, there's some security here because CNET goes through and scans all the downloads to make sure there's no viruses or anything else. Now, to download, you click the download link. It'll download a file. And once that file is on your computer, you'll want to click on it to start the install process. The install will ask for your email address, and you need to put in your valid email. And once you do, you get an email from the company that looks like this. And it says, almost there. Please confirm your email address. You will then immediately receive your license key for A Shampoo Studio Free. Now, this is important because when you click this link, it's going to take you to a page that has the license key that you'll need to enter to make sure that your program is free and remains free forever. But once you do that, the next time you open the program, it'll look like this. You'll be ready to go. Now, in addition to be able to rip music from music CDs, you can burn data disk, you can do backup and restores, you can create an audio CD, you can create a video DVD from a folder, you can create a super video DVD, you can copy movie files to disk, you can copy disk, and you can create disk images. There's also some advanced functions you may or may not need. So the program is extremely easy to use. It works a lot better than most of the other ripping CDs out there and it has lots of options. And again, it's totally free. It's really worth getting. One thing to note is that once you do install it and click to play, 
It'll take about 30 seconds to start up because there's a lot to it and it takes a while to go through and do all the right configurations. Anyway, this program is called Burning Studio Free. The best way to find it is go to Google and search for Burning Studio Free. It'll take you to this page and once you get there, click the download link. Thought you might be interested in knowing about this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.